And you're all clear. Give us a moment and we'll let you know what we found in all this data. You can make your way back to the auto shop after you're done scouring the place. Hell yeah. And drive her? Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, she is human. She has emotion. I mean, we know she had emotion. It just, uh, she has more than, more than one being anger and annoyance and frustration and disappointment. <laughs> I mean, I will say, a pretty successful run from a resource perspective. We are fully loaded. As Sam Sulik would say, fully pumped. We are fully pumped right now. The only thing we're stopping for are thermo saps. There aren't any, so we're out of here. So from here, we're going to need to teleport back to our base and then in theory this will open up another exit for us to use in the future um how do we want to do this there is a healing healing and charging way over here but we're like we're gonna head home soon anyway so I don't think that matters drive out you hit the jackpot we've got a lead on what you're heading toward in the deep zone Tobias Give us the rundown about the well. Ought to classify it as a hot spot of ultra high energy gamma radiation. Its eruptions were spontaneous and ultimately ought to make no conclusion about what caused it, when it would blow, or how destructive it would be. Ada, of course, wanted to control this bottomless well of energy. So they brought in Dr. K and Allen to research activation and containment. They discovered a way to reliably trigger the well, and that was the remnants. Okay. And that's what the remnants have been leading people towards. The well. They're trying to get us to activate this well. The remnants are. Or well, that's the theory. This second report's a good one. Ready to hear where the remnants came from? The yes. original remnants were created in Dr. K's lab. They aim to create a trigger for activating the well. By infusing objects with a carefully calibrated limb wave, the ones that shared a resonant frequency would... Yeah, yeah, just get to the good stuff. <sighs> you know, you'd be a much better ghost hunter if it weren't for that unfortunate attention span. Reading this makes it obvious how the remnants ended up in the wild. Wait, wait, what, what, what? How? gamma ray surge that caused the mass hallucination event. That energy irradiated everything within a 10 mile radius. Objects with the right characteristics absorbed that energy and became the remnants people found. Oh, I have a backup zone. plasma scrapper. Wow. Francis would get a kick out of that one. <laughs> uh, I'll tell him later. Uh, let me just ditch this one. Oh god. This is a problem. I've reviewed Dr. K's lab notes. Now we know what he was doing in that lab after the accident. He was spinning in circles for years. His injuries were real. Dr. K's radiation exposure should have been fatal. And the minute he could stand on his feet again, Otto shuttled him right back to his lab and bid the monkey to dance. They allowed him to carry on in the hopes that he would reproduce anything useful. Man. He worked for two whole years before they quietly retired him from his post. I did make one of these, but I must have been full, and it got dropped. Damn it. So I need, uh, a gas cylinder. You've got that accident record ready, Tobias. It's time. Okay, then. 
September 14, 1961. Artists finalized report on what happened that night. Dr. K and Allen were testing the activation potential of lab-created remnants. That night was a run-of-the-mill remnant test, nothing out of the ordinary. The remnant in question was a tungsten cube. At 3.23 a.m., the cube was brought towards the well. Tree candy, marsh the well eggs, reacted good. at nominal levels. However, at the 500 meter distance, the cube was sucked into the well and triggered the gamma ray surge. The energy output continued ramping up and at 15 seconds, showed no signs of stopping. Then, hey. Alan. Go on. Hey, that worked. I can handle it. Dr. K testified that Alan engaged the suppression protocol and the kill switch, both of which failed. Dr. K ordered Alan to get to safety, but Alan, Alan insisted on staying at the controls. Only when he flipped the radiation polarity did the energy output plateau, then collapse back into itself. Like Alan's a black hole? Alan's gamma radiation exposure was fatal due to his proximity to the well. If it weren't for him, the entire zone might have gone under. That's who Alan was. Loyal until the very end. I'm sorry, Abby. I'd expect nothing less from him. Damn. He was so nice. What was he doing with her? She's kind of like a... <laughs> Once that car gets to the well, we can expect another gamma ray eruption. We'll need a way to cut it off. And I may have found the answer in Alan's lab notes. His work on that suppression technique is... <sighs> was... What's interesting is Dr. K and Alan didn't know any more than we do now. They had no conclusions about what the well is. Or what the remnants did. Or how they interacted with this well. Maybe that ladle flips without a fair amount of gamma radiation. Maybe they trigger an eruption that we can't stop and will destroy the zone if we get it too close. That's a hell of a rage. So we're all in the dark now. What are we now? going to do? We keep but if it's an eruption... I already sacrificed the Olympic Peninsula once for the tech. How many chances for total and utter fallout does a gal get in her life, huh? <laughs> in another life, we would have made a fantastic team. In no universe would I not have murdered you in your sleep. <laughs> wow, jeez. Tell us how you really feel. Okay, so of course I've got thermal sap here. I'm gonna see what happens if I... Yep. That is not as strong as an impact hammer, apparently. Let's see if we get lucky here. Uh oh, is it gas that we needed? Was it a gas cylinder? We might have got lucky. Yep. That is incredible. Let's put this on four. Oh, I can't. I got a clear space. Uh, rotate this. Move this. Now it's on four. We'll keep the car parked here so that the abductor doesn't mess with it. Actually, I may have... I may have damaged it enough with the car. Or almost damaged it enough. They're gonna try and steal this for me.
I think we can build a, a new engine when we get home. We've got more thermal sap than I know what to do with now. Uh, let's try our ping. Oh, yeah, that does work. I think we'll whip up a first aid kit too, just because things are getting a little dicey. That's not great. There we go. This is looking for little lights or circuits or something. Uh, where is it? These little guys. Plasma. Okay. We have a bunch. Okay, so that conversion ratio is pretty low. Like, you can see here, right? There's no indicator of what we need to put in here. It's just saying plasma to marsh eggs. I don't see a number requirement. And there's de definitely not a number on there, so... Alright, now... Let's go grab these. We're going to get a ton of energy. And there's one of those tracks here. I think that might be the end. Uh, so we could... You guys want to try this? Let's try it. Oops. We identified what the tracks were. The little race thing. I assume all of these will come down... Problem is, my engine's still base level. But it's a straight line, and we haven't seen something like that before, so it's, it's worth a go. I'm going to trigger it from the other side because I don't want to be in a situation where it starts it.
Okay. Let's top up the battery. Looking good. Uh, repair putty not happening. And let's just give her. See what happens. It's unfortunately as fast as I can go. Okay, so it's live. Now I wonder if, if like that is the pace that I maybe need to beat. Or that's gonna trigger the next gate. Oh, cool. Okay. So even if I could beat that pace, I'd be hitting the gate, which we don't we don't want. Come on. Whoa, no, are you kidding? Oh. Oh, no. We lost because of those guys. You bastards. All right, well. I don't know if you can redo it, but we're not going to. I was kind of just like, not, I wasn't even thinking about that being an issue. guys could potentially cause some issues here. Get me in there. Those little guys are running interference for me. Thank you. Thing they didn't take this too far. Okay, let's move. Let's move. I keep mixing move and motor at the same time. I don't know if you guys have caught that, but it's uh, definitely happening a lot. Should be relatively clean exit. I think. These zones, they close so fast in these areas. Pretty great run, actually. We got a ton. Look at all the unstable energy we have there. Now we go into the deep zone. Easy peasy. Except for the issue of the old wall. Right, yeah. That. 
Uh, you got some genius idea up your sleeve, huh? Is that how you think it works? That scientists conjure up genius at will? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, in this case, I do. But don't expect it to work like that every time. Driver, the quarantine checkpoints will be the best way through the old wall, but they're death traps in their own right. But I designed something to help. Check out the blueprints I sent over. Okay, sounds good. We got that super fast fuel pump now. Let's store that up here. Now this thing, unfortunately, I'm not sure if maybe I should try it in a different rack or what, but... That's a lot of stuff. Okay, we can store the paints. We'll put in the new castle thing. Dump as much of this as we can. I'll make sure these ones are full. Very nice. Uh, we do have a pearl I'll keep. Okay. More like fax machine, am I right? Get it? Fax machine? Get it? Jeez. My own inventory is absolute gong show. Good thing for all the extra storage. And like, the thing is, <laughs> I have a maxed out backpack now, and I can make a good argument for carrying all these things. Maybe the Liberator, okay, if there's one thing I don't need to carry, but like everything else I'm using on the regular. I guess this too, the Anchor Radar, I only need to have that in a specific circumstance. Mural, that looks nice, actually. Let me put this in here, and we'll put the Liberator in there. But everything else, I need to have. Okay. Need a replacement back door, but let's hit the Numa tube. A limb shield. Uh, maybe the first and also only person to test this device. Okay. The old anomalies took up residence in the crossing points. These are bumpers. It's not enough to have a shield. The shield itself needs to be shielded. The energy drain on that shield is massive. It won't last you more than five seconds. Yes, and? You'll need to recharge on the go, but the Deep Zone's grid is completely dark. What? You know, what if we could reroute our power into the Deep Zone? But we'd need to jumpstart the network somehow. That car is basically the world's most overpowered electromagnet on wheels. The driver induces a current, then you open the electrical floodgates. And they'd have to induce the current the entire way through the old wall while making the crossing and maintaining speed. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't believe the driver and that car's got what it takes by now, then go back to hunting ghosts. We've got a job to do here. This could work. Are you in, Francis? I, I, I don't know. Look, we have a real chance of losing everything at the old wall. I'd like to not fail this far along. How can we know this will work? 
we don't. That's how science works. We form a theory, and we test it, and we fail, and fail, and fail, and only sometimes do we succeed. Come on, Francis. Please? Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. The team is assembled. Nice work on that limb shield driver. We'll have the power grid prepped by the time you reach the old wall. It's interesting that they wanted me to put it in the trunk and not attach it. Got some extra repair putty. Okay, so we need to assign this. Now, they talked about needing to go fast, so it would be ideal if I had a better engine, but I don't. And I guess, okay, so I probably don't need to double up my bumpers. Maybe that's, maybe that's an option here. We just take one. Throw this on the back. I'll throw this in here, which is going to take up space. Yes. Uh, what does the X mean again? Fix none. Fragile. Even the toughest components cannot be repaired indefinitely. Okay, so th this armor panel just needs to be straight up replaced. Same with this one. Okay, so let's take a look here first of all. Oh, I can. I have just enough, guys. This is sick. Turbo light. This is going to feel so bizarre. I'm probably going to lose control. Ooh, it's got light, dude. Sick. Recycling. Um, all of these steel doors now are kind of useless. The off-road tires too, like we're on the all terrains, but there is a uh, there is a like tire storage thing that we can unlock, like a parts locker. So I wouldn't mind keeping those in there. I'm also curious if these armor panels can get fully repaired from that status. We'll find out. I think we put status items in there before. Lead plated. Let's just see what else. Anything in here? Lead apron. Probably a good idea. Some radiation uh, resist for myself. The next thing is <laughs> more fabric. <laughs> Shocking, actually. I'm surprised because we found so much fabric in our time. All right. Now, if I look here. Uh, we're not going to do the bumpers because we need those for the powers, right? But, yeah, I, th I still think lead-plated is probably the way to go. Um, Battery-wise, freaking wriggling wreck, dude. I'm going to be a wriggling wreck before you know it. Uh, limb chips I need for this. Excess anchor energy we can trade it in for car accessories. Probably not our main thing that we need. 
Ultimately, uh, getting to here, the junction stabilizer would be awesome. And then going to the junction bypass, because that'll get us around things just a little bit quicker. Uh, but we need more thermal sap, unsurprisingly, right? Let's grab some of these advanced vacuums and stuff. Any advanced tools. It's just like they're asking for one fabric for a lot of these, for whatever reason. Uh, Liberator Mark IIs. The magnetic hammer needs corrupted. I currently have more unstable energy than I know what to do with. Okay, what else? Bio headlights gonna drain us a little bit more, but could be okay. I need to find a tour bus anomaly. One thing I need to... Let's do this first so I don't spend the materials on things I can't unlock afterwards. This is going to use thermal sap as well. It's a tier 3 notice. Liberator Mark II is a tier 3. Um, how are my scrappers? Scrapper's fine. We do need a, a better vacuum, so let's go ahead and do that. And I can put this in here. And then we'll put this one on seven. Everything else is pretty good. Blowtorch would be awesome. I need more marsh eggs there. Plasma charger, let me whip one of these up. Because it said she said we would need to be charging on the go quite a bit, so I'll store both of those in there. And we need a lead-plated door. Okay, sweet. And then I need two panels. That's a look. Damn, look at the thing around there. Car of Theseus, replace all the car's original parts. Weird, I feel like we've done that. Maybe it has to be with, like, handcrafted stuff, because some of those were replaced from things we found out, out in the wild. Okay, anything here that I might want. So I've got headlights. I could go insulated headlights. So if we look in the top right, it's got higher health, electrical resist, blocks charge... And it's draining the same amount, actually. So, yeah, sweet. Let's just replace these. And then... We'll go something like this. Oh, hell yeah, dude. This is sick. It's really coming together nice. Okay. What else might we want here? Should I get the scrapper? You know what? I better. I might even... Yeah, this is maybe crazy. Where is my... I'll, I'll, be, I'll take another plasma charger as well. I know it's a lot, but I don't really know what to expect here. So I feel like that's going to be potentially useful to us. All right. What else? What else? Expansion racks. Let's just do them. And let's see if this fixes that issue. The thing is, is that they... Yeah, see? Well, this is now full, too, so it's kind of tough to say. But um, they intersperse, like, left-clicking and that R for certain applications. I 
could throw on those floodlights now, I suppose. Uh, puncture proof. We don't deal with that a lot, so I'm not too crazy about getting it. The water stuff seems like meh. Expanded backseat tank. Leak resistant fuel tank. That does seem to be a thing now for some reason. So let's make that. Oh, I don't have nearly enough. Need way more tree candy. We'll see what this one needs. So that I can make. And I bet you I can afford it. Yep, sweet. Okay, so first of all, let's fill you. And we could run a little test here. Huh, I actually can't. Weird, eh? All good. Fuel's confusing. So now I've got that. I've got a big tank in here. I've got this little tank. And then I've got this thing that, you know... Uh, maybe what I'll have to do is, like, take it off, throw it on the ground, try to siphon from it that way. It's an option. It's an option for us. Let's just get a status <laughs> check here. Okay. Repair putty, road flares, battery jumpers. Uh, we're good for all that. That's all totally, totally fine. That's all good. I can't believe how low chemicals are. That's freaking crazy. What else? Engine stuff. I mean, I could get an amp engine. So what's the difference here? So this has... Many early cars were electric. Then the combustion engine kicked them to the curb. But with Limtech, magnets calibrated by an onboard computer, a generous dose of plasma power, the amplified magnetic propulsion engine is the engine of the future. But what is this granting me over this? Same amount of health. Oh, higher horsepower. Oh, but it just drains the... It pulls from your battery instead of using fuel. That's sweet, actually. That's cool. It's using up four unstable, and it's it's definitely not going to be something that I can build. So I'll hold off on that. And again, if I can get into, like, all these extra battery things, guys, high-capacity batteries, like, come on. Wriggling Rex, uh, very much needed in my life. Very much needed. We can start to unlock some of these things. Bioflare. And then Bio Lantern device just about contains the harness and harnesses swamp coral. Look at the durability there. 22,800 compared to like our flashlight 6600. I probably can't make it though. But I'll be damned if I won't try it. Bio headlight. What's the difference here? Intensely focused beam. Better not to think about whether it's alive. <laughs> All right. So bio headlights use swamp coral. So we need some of this. It is a tier three. And if you compare it, like it's got the same draw. I guess it must just be, it must just be way brighter. Right? Gotta be. Uh, Bio Lantern needs Swamp Coral. Bio Flare needs Swamp Coral. 
All right, so we know what we need. Olympium fragments we've never even seen before. So that's off the table for a bit. The mural. Okay. So a couple things we might do here just before we wrap up. Let's do just a little bit of customization and uh, we can actually go through here because there is some new stuff. Record player UFO. Um, the sword shifter. Let's throw that in. We have a whole bunch of hood ornaments now. The logo, the prop. I kind of like the logo. Let's throw that in. Let's go back to the wishing star. That's always kind of fun to see. And then sticker-wise, we're good. But this is where I want to take a look. Check this out. I got wood paneling. Also, black stripes could be cool. Like, all of these could be cool, let's be honest. But with this lead-plated paneling, it could be kind of weird. Yeah, like, you can barely see it. That's not doing anything, really. I kind of wish there was a way to say, like, yes, I want this to be lead-plated, but also I care about how it looks. <laughs> and so I would want something a little different. Let's try this one. I mean, it's nice. I'm going to keep that ARDA there. For some reason, I just really like that. We'll hit the chassis here. It's not bad. It's definitely not our best work. Okay, it's a nice little change-up, you know what I mean? It's a nice little change-up. Pressurized cartridges, store these. Okay. I think we are probably set. I have plasma, I've got the vacuum. Those are the two main things that I need. I've got the impact hammer. I've got the liberator in the trunk. I've got the scanner in the trunk. Yeah, I think I think we're good. And I can't afford any more repairs, unfortunately. Let's do this. We'll throw our side floods on. So if we strategically park our car, we've got that. I also have this extra storage, which I totally forgot about, but we didn't end up needing anyways. Um, I think we're good to go. So now it wants us to reach the first crossing point. So it's going to be a bit of a drive. We need to get here, which looks like we need to go here. Um, totes fine by me. We've got one highway drive, and in this area, like, if I scan this, well, let's see. That scans everything along the way. You see there's still anomalies there that are not recognized? So here's what I'm gonna do on my own, without you. Okay, don't be offended. But I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna look for a wriggling wreck. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna look for a wriggling wreck. If I don't find them, then the next time I see you, will be here. But you can see, like, this is a different zone. Like, this is forest stuff, this is back road stuff. Uh, is that actually... Yeah, this is the Myers, I guess is the better way to, to say that. The location. But you can see, like, this is... I guess this is... This symbol is, like, mid-zone. And then this is going to be deep zone. Right? But I need to find a frickin' wriggling wreck like my life depends on it. 
Uh, could be one there too. You see how we have a not recognized? So wish me luck, guys. That'll be big for us. Anyways, um, I'll to get us there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Guys, I found one. The harmonic I got it. Research lab was an object I got it. No, I wasn't involved. I have not I seen this by very much. Happen. Like we have maybe point, flown past one. Was in a bad way. But whoa, Neither we got it, guys. We got it. We did it.